analyst here with my betting picks. Uh, let's just get this out of the way. Um, you know, when I have, when I first started really, you know, like let's really be serious about this betting thing. Um, and I put it online and actually started focusing some energy on that. One of the first things I did was put together a video of what I thought were uh, things that you need to look out for. And, you know, 10 tips on betting, maybe 10, I think 10, probably even nine. But one of them was definitely basically something that kind of says don't bet on anything on the undercard, right? And maybe even some of the main card stuff. Um, so the whole undercard is going to get us, you know, there are, there are ones that I will say just don't even bother. But anything on the undercard will automatically get silver pick because I'm saying... Like there are certain people that probably will win, and your your money is probably safe. But this is about the pinnacle of untested talent facing untested talent. So when you have those two things going, and you want to kind of pick a winner, um, you know, it's just not wise. If you want to bet on the Ultimate Fighter 14 finale, stick with the main card. And even more seriously, stick with the top four fights, all right? Michael Bisping, Jason Miller, um, platinum pick for Michael Bisping. He is uh, not going to get finished by Miller, most likely. If he does, he'll get submitted. Um, I don't think he'll get laid on by Miller um, for 15 minutes. It's not going to be a 25-minute fight. I think only the... The numbered pay-per-view cards will have the five-round main events. Anyways, Michael Bisping, most likely, moving all around the cage, making it difficult for Miller to take him down. If he does somehow get a takedown, Bisping getting back to his feet, jabbing, sticking, moving. On his hands, Bisping has him beat. In the wrestling department, they could be even. Bisping's not great, but Jason Mayhem Miller is also not great. On the ground, Miller's a better grappler, but Michael Bisping is good at getting back to his feet, regaining guard, uh, attacking with the purpose, again, of um, bettering his position. Uh, I don't really see Mayhem Miller winning based on a few things. Number one, most important, he has not fought um, since September 2010. And that fight was against Sakuraba. His fight before that was against Tim Stout in April 2010. And his last, like, every fight is serious, but his last serious fight where, you know, we're talking about top-level MMA versus top-level MMA was uh, two years ago, November 7th, 2009. That is the main reason why I'm going with Michael Bisping, who, yeah, uh, you know, he hasn't had to face the best of opponents because he is still um, the UFC's British guy. But George Rivera, Jorge Rivera, he is solid. Yoshihiro Akiyama, he is solid. Dan Miller, solid. Like, these guys are, none of them are top 10. Um, but still, he's got to work on it. Vanderlei Silva, Dennis Kang, right? So anyways, long story short, platinum pick, uh, Michael Bisping. Next fight. Diego Brandau versus Dennis Bermudez. Um, what's the odds with this one here? Diego Brandau minus three fifty. I mean, that's not really going to affect anything. I can't put a platinum pick really on I mean, a diamond pick on any of these just because um, I'm not comfortable. You know, just making that kind of pick on these guys. Now, in all fairness, Diego Brandau is probably in all likelihood, going to knock out Bermudez in the first round. So not only is it most likely that he's going to win, but he's probably going to win in the first round. He's probably going to knock him out. And he's probably going to get knocked out of the night. So, you know, it's those are three things that I'm very, very positive about. But I'm just not going to put a diamond pick out there. It feels like a diamond pick, but it kind of goes against my rules to actually call it a diamond pick. Brandau um, is not unbeatable. That's another thing. You know, in the house, he's looking really good. He's going out there smashing everybody. But I think he's got about seven losses. 
I think it's like 15 wins and 7 losses or something like that. It's just off the top of my head. Let me take a look just to make sure I'm not crazy. Um, yeah, 13 wins and 7 losses, right? So he is anything but unstoppable. Um, he's actually going into the house. He was on the three-fight winning streak. Everything that's happened in the house is not actually part of his record. So, you know, he can lose, and he has lost before. And he's been knocked out before. He's been knocked out a couple times. He's been knocked out uh, four times. I mean, at the end of the day, I cannot pick a diamond pick yet with this guy. So anyways, platinum pick, Diego Brandao, first round knockout, fight of the night. All that stuff's probably going to happen. TJ Dillashaw versus John Dodson. I think Dodson's actually the undercard, uh, the under the underdog. Not really sure why. Um, I'm pretty confident that Dodson's going to win this. Uh, again, now, see, like, normally in a situation like this, I would pick a platinum pick for this. But given the situation, it's a gold pick for John Dodson. I do think Dodson will have the speed advantage. He'll have the hands advantage, the wrestling advantage. Um, I think he just has has the advantage everywhere. He's just shorter. And I really am not sure how he's the underdog. So I do think this is a very good opportunity to put money on a guy who's, you know, plus 165. You know, um, to be honest, if, you know, if you want to go John Dodson parlay with Michael Bisping, that's not a bad bet at all. If you want to go Brandau, Dodson... Bizping, who you know, that's a good look, I think. Um, you know, if you just want to put stuff together, or you can obvious, obviously, especially with these kind of odds, just bet straight on uh, Diego Brandao. So, I mean, sorry, on John Dotson. So I do have John Dotson winning this fight. To be honest, he could TKO Dillashaw. He could win by decision, um, but I do have Dotson winning. Next, Tony Ferguson versus Eve Edwards. It's going to be a gold pick for Tony Ferguson. Um, really good hands. Looked impressive against Aaron Riley. I was hesitant to, to to pick him against Aaron Riley because at that time he had beat a bunch of basically no-names. And then Ramsey in the gem, who was a no-name, who was in the finals for the Ultimate Fighter. So his skill set showed that you know he, he's got something to work with. Um, this is a good test for him and Eves Edwards. Uh, by no means is is Eves Edwards uh, a slouch. Uh, been fighting for a long time since uh, 1997. Uh, very active. Uh, 59 fights in total. Right, we're talking 59 fights against to uh, Ferguson's 14 fighting since 2008. Um, Edwards, you know, 17 submissions, 15 knockouts. It's very very tough. Still to pick uh, Tony Ferguson, but from what I saw with his takedown defense and his striking and his aggression, the biggest thing it was his aggression against a guy who likes to brawl in Aaron Riley. If Tony Ferguson moves forward with straight punches, aggressive, ready to attack, I see him potentially overwhelming Eves Edwards and eventually catching Eves Edwards. Um, you know. He's got seven. He's got uh, what, seventeen losses. Most of them are by decision. Nine of them, but he has been knocked out four times, um, and recently uh, against Sam Stout. Actually, I think I even picked. I did pick Sam Stout that fight, but I picked Sam Stout to win by decision. Didn't think he was gonna knock him out. But anyways, I am going with Tony Ferguson, and again, this is a gold pick. All right, undercard. Um, everything is a do not bet. Except for Brian Caraway over Dustin Nice and Dustin Pegg over John Albert. Both of those silver picks. Both of those similar situations. One fighter who I'm picking um, has the experience, ha is a you know, well-rounded fighter or at least more well-rounded than the other fighter. But both of them have not beat anybody, have never shown any reason to actually trust your money in their hands feet or game plan or anything so again silver picks for those guys because in all likelihood they should win 
But really, you know, the whole undercard for me is going to be do not bet, but I will put two silver picks out there. So there you go. Those are my picks. Um, yes, I will be back next Thursday. Was that the, the 8th? Send you guys the videos for UFC 140. I think there's some good money on that card. MMA, it's important. Peace.